Hi and welcome to episode 4 of my video series about sock knitting. In episode 3 I made the heel and now I'm going to show you how I pick up stitches along each side of the heel flap and begin to knit so that I connect the heel with the rest of the sock. So far it looks like this. Here I have needle 1 and needle 2 and 3 with the stranded color work pattern and there I have needle 4. And my round begins at the middle back. So it my round begins and ends here between needle one and four, right under the heel. So, first I am going to pick up stitches on this side because I start knitting from here. So, I will do this needle first and then I will continue to knit this part. So, I need to pick up the stitches here. And there are many ways to pick up stitches. Um, on a sock heel, but I'm going to show you what I usually do. And first, uh, you can have a look here at the stitches along the edge of the heel flap. They are much longer than the stitches on the heel flap itself. This is because these stitches are slipped in every second row that you make so that you will only have half the number of stitches on the edge compared to on the heel flap. And these stitches here on the edge are the ones that I am going to pick up. And what I do is that I pick them up here from, from the wrong side. Here you can see one of the stitches and it goes down here and through this last stitch which is here. It goes through there and here you can see if I pick up this and pull you can see that I pull the stitch here on the edge and make it tighter. And this is what I want to achieve to avoid getting holes along the side here. So this is the part I'm going to pick up. So I start here at the bottom and I pick up one stitch for every stitch on the edge. And I make sure I pick up And when I pick up the stitch that I, I check that I when I that I pull the stitch on the edge here and tighten tighten it. So I continue like this all the way to the to needle one here. And um, usually the pattern you are following will tell you something about how many stitches you should pick up for the size that you are knitting. So you either pick up that stitch number or if you have made the heel flap longer or shorter than your pattern says, you may pick up fewer or more stitches or maybe because no feet are the same and maybe you need a couple more stitches to get a wider sock uh, in this section. So what I do if I need more stitches is that here is the next, st the next stitch I am going to pick up but I can go down here and pick up one extra from the wrong side. 
and there I have added one one stitch and you won't be able to tell when the sock is is finished okay and now I count my stitches to make sure I have picked up as many stitches as I should either the number in the pattern or the one I decide myself Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 14, 15 and I need 16 so I will actually go down here and I will pick up the stitch here so now I have 16 stitches here and I know that I have 12 stitches on needle 1 so this will make 28 stitches together uh, in all 28 stitches on needles one and two here and uh, the reason why I need to know this number now is because I I'm going to begin here and knit color work right away the sole pattern for this sock also has a color pattern so in order to start with the right color in the pattern I need to know how many stitches and then I can go to my pattern and count so that I know which color to start with. And in addition to these 28 stitches I'm going to count one more, 29, because when I arrive at this point I will pick up and knit one more stitch and this will also belong to this sole slash heel pattern. The reason why I pick up one stitch here is to close a gap that often occurs here at the transition between the heel and the rest of the foot. And um, yes, I will just get started and you will see. So I have already counted in my pattern so I know that I will have to start with my dark color and I add my gray background color as well and I begin to knit I begin with the darker color and I follow a simple stripe pattern for the sole of the foot so I just knit one dark one gray and repeat so I'll first do this needle like this And now I have finished the, uh, the needle under the heel and I will put this one away and I will use this and continue to knit the stitches from the side of the heel flap over onto this needle so that I gather the stitches from under the heel and from the side of the heel flap I gather all those stitches on needle one. So I'll continue to knit the pattern and uh, at this point if you are using different needle sizes for the color work and the cuff, heel and toe uh, this is usually where I change to the bigger needles again but because these stitches picked up they can be a little tight and it is easier to pick them up on a thinner needle so I think it is okay to wait one round before 
I go back to the slightly bigger needles. Now I should just work my way to the end of this needle here and now is the time to pick up the last stitch I was talking about because uh, I can show you here if I if I knit one stitch here you often get a piece here where you will get a small hole and to avoid that I make one stitch in between here as well and to make sure I close any gap uh, thoroughly I have found this method to be quite efficient and that is I I use the background color yarn and I find the yarn that goes across here between the stitches and here I have the top one I go to the one below number two strand in background color I pick it up try to pick up only the one there and I twist it and let it stay here on my right needle then I pick up the yarn that was on top of it and I knit just take this first yarn I picked up and slip it over the second one like this and I put it on a left needle and I knit this new stitch over onto needle one and now I have ended here with the darker color because I want to create a dark stripe as a border between the stripe B pattern here and my starry pattern on the top. So this was one side. I'm going to continue my color work here on needle two and three. And when I arrive here, I will get back to you and show you how I do the second side of the heel flap. Now I have finished the two needles of color work and I am ready to pick up stitches on this side of the heel flap. And I will also pick up the additional stitch here in the transition between the top of the sock and the foot pattern here, the sole pattern. But I will wait with that. I'll pick up the stitches here first. And I am going to pick up the same number of stitches that I did in the other side. So try and find the right strand of yarn. And sometimes this gets completely wrong and I have to go back and do it again. I think that's quite okay and part of knitting. It doesn't always get right, but as long as you haven't ruined the yarn, you're okay to try again. Okay, so I'll have to count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. I need one more. 
So I'll actually go back and pick up the stitch here. And I think I'll take... No, I'll do this one. Two, four, six, eight, ten... Sixteen. Okay, so now I have sixteen stitches here as well, and I am ready to continue. So first, I pick up the stitch between. Here I have one gray, two gray. So I pick up the one under the other, twist, pick up the, the yarn on top, knit, and I am ready. And I begin here with the same color as I ended with on this side, the dark one, because I want symmetrical pattern. And I knit every second dark and gray. I wonder, was this the one I tried to pick up? I'll have a little... I don't think that one was such a good idea to pick up. So I'll go for another one. I sometimes have to fix things as you go. Especially when you pick up in dark yarn like this, something that may have seemed like a good idea at the beginning may not look as good after all. And here I am. And I'll put this one away before I forget. And I continue to knit the stitches on this last needle over onto this so that I gather the stitches on this side of the heel on one needle. And there is the last stitch. And now I have finished the first round. And I have ended up with needle one, two, three, four. And um, here you can see no gap in the transition here. If you get, there is, there's no gap here. But you can see here I have one long stitch. It's a bit loose. I don't like how that looks. So I try to pull it, see where it goes. And when I pull it, I see some action here. And then I know where it goes. So I can bring this yarn along here. And there it looks much better. 
so now I can continue to work my sole stripey pattern on these two needles and my starry color work pattern on these two needles. Next step is to make gusset decreases along the side and then to do the rest of the foot. And I will get back to that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.